Hello, Flatters is here. Gonna play. No, I'm not. I'm gonna run away now. <laughs> Notary games. Goodbye. You leaving? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Nine, what? nine, nine. What? Nine. <laughs> Germany for no. Nine. <laughs> nine, nine. I love you. Okay, here we go. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? You. Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Sure. Wait a minute. Hmm? Two people get left behind if we split into five and two. And one person is left behind if we split into three, three, and one. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. But if we split into four and three, then why do three people have to be left behind? Just run the numbers. Let's say we go through door seven with one, four, five, six. Who's left over? That would be three, seven, eight. What's the digital root for that? Three plus seven plus eight is 18, so add one, eight, nine. Exactly, but door nine isn't here, right? That means three, seven, eight won't be going anywhere. That was just an example, of course. There are a lot of different combinations, but the result will always be the same. It doesn't matter which four it is. The three that are left over can't go through any of the doors. Go ahead and calculate it if you have the time. You'll see. <coughs> anyway, that's how it is. Now, if we can get back to my proposal, we only have to sacrifice one person if we split into three, three, and one. Then, you're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind. Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No! That's too cruel! What's so cruel about it? To... to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you. Shut up! Me. What about you, Santa? Me? Well, you just no. said that it's a democracy, so she has the right to speak. Alright, that's one vote for, counting mine. Shut up. Two, <laughs> seven. No democracy here. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. I'm glad to see you again. Yes, sir, Mr. Beanie. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Uh, oh, Clover actually showed up here. Hey, Clover. Your brother has Clover's to be like, behind one of the not around, I'm gonna stab you all. <laughs> we searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Um, let's go look for him together. He's okay. fucking manipulative right now, huh? Yeah. If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You 
agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. Like, just look at that satisfied smile. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Uh. Uh. Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that. That won't solve anything. Julie, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? I trust you, each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True. But that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... <clears throat> Good. Let's accept his kind offer, then. Good. I think this is the best thing. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Oh, he's crazy. Right? He's like, just come back for me. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven? Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait all of you. Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be. Right, Jumpy? Say something. Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Fine. There's gotta be another Forget way. Forget about it. I'll Sacrifice figure it out on more. my own. More. <laughs> Ace! Come on, Ace. Please stand up. You can't give up yet. We just have to sit down together and think about this. We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here. <sighs> Ace! What happened? Ace, say something. I'm all right. How are you all right? This. A syringe? Soparil Beta. What does this do? Did, did you use this? Yes. It's just anesthetic. I'll be fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful later. I didn't think I'd be using it on myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. I really am very tired. Ace. Hmm? Is there something you want to say? I'd just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? No, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah, uh, you feel warm. So comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace! Ace! Uh, let's get him up on a bed. 
Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste. Right? <sighs> like you even mean that. You say something? No, nothing. Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're eight. You're next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. What? What did you just say? Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. All right, who's next, Junpei? Which door do you want? What door do you want? Three, seven, or eight? Save. Oh yeah, this, wait, we already have a save here, so let's save over four. There we go. Oh. Where was the other guy going? Not, not eight. But... Seven's going in door number seven. Eight's going in door number eight. If you choose door number three, they'll insist that you can't go in there. But you can make them do it. Basically, if you don't trust anyone, you can choose to go in door number three and, d and ditch most people. Uh, let's go to door number seven. I... I think... I'm gonna go with door seven. Okay. Seven it is. Yeah. Alright then. That means June's gotta go through eight. What? Why? What? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Have three, five, and eight go through seven. And four, six, and seven go through eight. Everyone here is a math genius being able to figure this out so fast based on who wants to go where. Four, yeah. five, and seven go through seven. And three, six, and eight go through eight. The main problem is that you and June can't go through the same door unless you go through three. Or three, six, and seven go through seven. And four, five, and eight get eight. There are no other combinations. In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Oh no. You're saying we aren't gonna see each other again for a long time. <sighs> hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Well, yeah, that's the only way you can really continue the game. I mean, if each door whittled down the number of players that were together, you'd never be able to exit through the nine door, right? Probably. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. So you gotta assume that everyone that actually makes it out alive will be able to meet up at some point. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door 9. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the 9 door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again. I promise. Yes. Promise? <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take eight and Clover can take seven. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. You guys ready? Please be door chose door number seven. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, we're with Clover. We're gonna get stabbed. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Clover's gonna stab the crap out of us. I don't think she's gonna do it's anything. It's open. Let's do this. Hurry! You 
he looks super hacker right now. <sighs> June. Move! Jumping. The door only is open for nine seconds. What the hell are you doing, Junpei? They're trying to kill everyone. Only 81 seconds left. No time to waste, guys. Let's get moving. Don't spend time talking to your girlfriend Look, just the after you open the door. I can see the dead. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. It stopped. It stopped. <laughs> this is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but whew, you never really get used to it. Well, yeah, I wouldn't get used to having like a minute till I die, too. Would you be able to get used to that, cute cute? No. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah, you had like a minute till he died, but yeah, you just need bigger balls, right? What? What the hell did you just say? Say it again! I dare you! I dare you, Clover. I dare you to access all the death. <laughs> you dare to axe you to death? You yeah, just like have that. no... <laughs> You little... You wanna die?! I'd like to see you try. Whoa, she's super aggro. You fucking brat! Alright, let's go! What the hell? Hey, hey, calm down, guys. This isn't He's the time for... to go with the little this. girl. It's not gonna do us any good. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, Wait here for a minute, all right? I'm gonna go see if there are any other doors. For what? We just came through this door. Ah, and of course it's shut tight. There's a short well, yeah. hallway Why on the would left they here. Leave that open? And an iron wall. I doubt I can get through it. I would be very surprised if you could just walk through an iron wall, right? This door's the only option we've got, right? Yeah, looks like it. Hey, something's written on the door. On that iron plate. Okay, this actually is going to have the next story check in this room. So congrats, you chose the right door to get to the actual real ending. Oh, okay. What is it? It says operating room. Uh, we need to answer... About IC9. IC9. The thing we learned last time. If this oh, thing's okay. telling the truth, there could be body parts inside here. Well, this is probably not going to be pleasant. Well, there's no point to standing around. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. Uh -huh. What's wrong? No, it, it's nothing. Let's just go. Huh? What the hell is this? Why don't we take a look? Hey, Clover! Ah! Clover! Oh, goodness. Here we go. Hey, what's wrong? What the hell is this? Is... is this a corpse? We should probably take a closer look. Yeah. This is... What the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. A... doll? <sighs> You're right. It's only a doll. Man, it really scared me. <laughs> well, I guess it would've been weird if you actually had any balls. <laughs> Shut it! Don't you start with me, fatty! Oh, what's this? You want a piece of me, short stuff? Yeah, bring it on, you whale! Hey, guys, not again, okay? Seriously, knock it off. <sighs> hmm. 
Jeez. Anyway, looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. I'm talking about a heart. Huh? Uh, uh, oh, this? You mean on his chest? Yeah. Why would there be a heart in a doll? I don't think it's a doll. You think maybe it's, like, a medical mannequin or something? Or maybe it's got more... personal uses? <laughs> anyway, how about we take a look around this place? Let's go. Okay. Sure thing. Been Jane. Jane did. Yeah, that would have been cool. Okay, so the bed doesn't look very comfortable. There's advice. There's PG. Okay, so let's go ahead and look for advice, I guess. There's a big chest. Let's go ahead and give Miss Jane her chest, I guess. Okay, can't do that yet. What's this? It's a heater. Nothing inside it. Pipes. Dogs to kill bacteria. There's a boiler. Okay, I'm not gonna lit on the doors. The doors don't see nothing here. A bunch of bottles, bells, that kind of thing. Can they just down the world? Well, let's check out here. Can't open. Well, what's over here? Can't open the chemical room. I keep looking around here. Anything else I can get there? What if I combine the organ and the... No! Why not with the scalpel? Use the scalpel on the guy. Don't just line the... Scalpel on the chest? Yeah. That worked. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got a key. We'll see if it opens up one of those rooms. Oh no, it did. 
awesome. Finger coat there. Oh, piece of paper. Medical worker. New material has been added to the file screen. Here's your words the medical worker. Two mannequins in the preparation room. There's a male mannequin named John, a female mannequin named Lucy. It shows the parts, total weight, and the weight of their individual parts. Okay. Well, that's interesting. John is 51.3, Lucy's a bit heavier at 53.2, I guess. I'm not sure how that's gonna be important, but okay. Oh, here's something. Four different mice, each a different color. If we ask, we can land them like that. A beaker. Oh! Hi! I found the white one. I can't really do anything else. Oh! So I guess this thing opens if I get the other colors to light up. A sink. The other colors light up in. Let's see if I can get in there. No lock. That's probably the exit, apparently. I was trying to leave, but okay. Let's see if we can go in the other room. Awesome! Oh, wow. Turn one. Carbon dioxide system on. Help two. Water three. Ammonia. Okay, so we have a cotton code one. Only three cameras, these friends with me for two years, one thing with the numbers. Uh, I don't know any numbers right now, so probably will be lucky. I found red liquid. And blue liquid. Plug. Why, why would you want to plug? Plug. You didn't tell him we'll struggle up if I put salt on it. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, Clover? Well, you seem very cheery now. Iron powder. Caffeine. Beef test for iron. I can't see it now? Caffeine stems for iron. Sink stinks. Coming from this bottle. N83. It's ammonia. So we're learning a lot of science facts. A drink. C2H5O ethanol. Ethanol alcohol. You're gonna drink it? No. Dihydrogen monoxide? Why don't you just say pop? I can lose brain nozzle. CO2. Carbon dioxide. What? Iron 1. Carbon dioxide. Oh! I probably need to write stuff down for this one. So I guess we're going with their scientists, their scientific names for things and be like, how many times are they put in there? I don't know. What am I supposed to do for this? Well, I got the red and blue bottles, and then we take that over and see what happens in the other area real quick. I'm just putting the red liquid in here. Red light. Oh, I found the leg. Ooh. I'm going to do them all once. It's blue now. Sit on the bench. Okay, 
Okay, so all we have is here. Okay, carbon dioxide is CO2. I don't have a pencil. Let me get a pencil. But actually, I can use my notepad. No phone is not a cow. Water. Ammonia. Wood nitrogen, free hydrogen. That was an accident, but it was interesting. Why did they say the same thing? Thank you, all. It was be hot, no, no, orphan. <laughs> Too hot, orphan. Seven is your head, okay? <laughs> There's a bottle of ethanol. Ethanol. One sodium, one chloride. Bottle of iron. Fe on bottle. Okay, so let's go over here. Iron equals one, so Fe equals one. Salt equals two. the number of how many parts there is. Carbon dioxide is CO2. How many parts is that? I don't want to like it being in front of it. Three. Three? Right. One carbon, two oxygen. Oh yeah, it's even in the name. So that means carbon dioxide will be three. Okay, so that means ammonia will be four. Because it's one hi nitrogen, three hydrogen. Ethanol is quite tiny a lot, so it's easy. Okay, so it's one plus two plus five. So that's like eight? What order do we put these in? Is it literally just like... One, two, and three. One, two, three? Yeah. That's the order. Oh. Okay. So carbon dioxide, then ammonia, then ethanol? Yep. Okay, let's try three, four, eight.
Uh, what was number one? Carbon dioxide was three. Right? Oh, uh, number two. Does it have to be one with like salt in it? Carbon dioxide. Iron has one atom, salt has two, water has three. How many atoms are each thing? You can look at the bottles to find the letters. Oh, I got ethanol wrong by one letter. That's the problem. I got the idea right, but it was just the fact that ethanol had the wrong amount of numbers. There we go. I think we oh. should go back. Yeah, I think that's probably best. Okay. Hmm? Hey, Seven, what's up? Oh, well... Is, is that a medicine bottle? I got curious about it. Here. Ethylene diamine tartrate? Yeah, that's right. What? CDT. What kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Why is there detergent? Why would they have something like that here? Oh, wait, they probably want to clean the area, like, really badly after certain things. Well, probably to clean stuff up. Clean what up? Fuck if I know. Still, it looks like it's cleaned my brain up. Wait, you remember something? Yeah. Well, I remember a story about EDT. Happened about 50 years ago. There was this factory somewhere in America making big old EDT crystals. <laughs> they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner, like I told you before. But a year after the factory started up, something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to the EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called a hydrate. Once the crystals turn into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. The factory had to just dump the crystals. As a hydrate, they were useless. Why was water getting on your item, though? But it didn't end there. After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories everywhere, even ones nowhere near that first American factory. They'd been making crystals the same way, with the same materials and the same equipment and environment. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. In fact, ever since that day, no factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. Even in EDT research done years before, they'd never gotten a hydrate. And after it happened at the first factory, it just... spread. It was like... how do you say it? Like the molecules were communicating with one another. Transmitting information in a way humans couldn't perceive. This phenomena spread throughout the world. Right. Yeah, that's... that's it exactly. But, how did you know? I heard another story, uh, kind of like that one. When? In the freezer. What? The freezer? Yeah, June told me. Hmm. Ice that doesn't melt at room temperature, huh? That sounds familiar. 
Yeah, hold up. I, I feel like I can remember something. It's right there. Do you? Know about Ice Nine? Do you know go. about Ice Nine? Ice Nine? Ice Nine. Ice Nine. Ice, ice, ice. That's it. I remember now. That woman, she's on this boat. That woman? Alice! Who's Alice? Come on. The woman who won't melt at room temperature. Huh? You know how the Titanic sank on April 15th, 1912, right? Yeah. More than 1,500 people died. Worst maritime accident Wait, in history. What the fuck? Alice is the mummy? The mummy is alive. Alice is in the third game. Lotus. What about it? Lotus is the mummy. Alice looks like fucking Cleopatra. <laughs> Did you hear about the boat that was sent to collect the dead bodies? Uh, I think that was the RMS Carpathia, right? It was a cruise liner, just like the Titanic. No, that was the ship that picked up the survivors. So apparently the point of these story checks was to make Seven remember shit. The ship that collected the dead bodies was oh, the okay. C.S. McKay Bennett. The McKay Bennett showed up on April 17th, two days after the accident. It set out from Halifax, a port in Canada, and recovered 306 bodies. The Atlantic that far north was really cold. It would have to be for there to be icebergs and stuff. Anyway, the bodies they pulled out of the water were frozen solid. This isn't a very nice story. So, what happened next? Well, they say the McKay Bennett recovered something more than just dead bodies. There were various bits of stuff floating around in the water. Things the drowned had carried with them, or stuff that dislodged as the ship sank. One of the things they found was a coffin. A coffin? Yeah, a wooden one. The craftsman who made it must have been pretty skilled. It wasn't just a wooden coffin. It was all wood, no nails, no reinforcements, no gaps in the wood anywhere. The thing was airtight. The crew got pretty curious about what might be inside it and opened it up. They had to get a wedge and hammer it open and they saw it made it. Inside. They found a woman. Yep, that's Alice. I guess you should say they found the Wait, dead body the of a woman. fuck? She's alive? Her hair was thick and black and her skin rich brown with no blemishes or signs of decomposition. They say that she looked gorgeous, like a goddess. She was obviously dead, but everyone who looked at her said she just looked like she was sleeping. Her skin was so lifelike, she looked like she might wake up any minute. I have trouble figuring out who's who in these games because they change their appearance every five seconds. She did, though. Like the rest of the bodies they found, she was frozen solid. Eventually, the McKay Bennett finished searching and returned to Halifax. The 306 bodies were unloaded and taken ashore. However, it was warm enough that they began to thaw. They say that the stink was horrible. Was one body that didn't thaw, and that was the girl in the coffin. That's right. Everybody thought for sure that she'd melt and start to rot like the rest of them eventually. But weeks passed and nothing happened. A month passed, and another. It was summer, and she was still frozen solid. After a while, people started to say she was some sort of miracle. Rumors about her started to spread. People came to visit Halifax from all over. After a while, people started to call her All Ice. Alice. Of course, those rumors didn't last long. Why? Well, she up and disappeared. One day Alice was there, the next day she wasn't. They say someone snuck into where they were keeping her and stole the body. With the body gone, the rumors followed pretty quickly. After a while, no one remembered her. You might be able to find something about her if you could find a newspaper from back then, but... About it. Wait, you just said that she was on this boat. Yeah, I did. Alice has got to be somewhere on this ship. Now why the hell would you say something like that? Alice is zero, confirmed. <laughs> we just have to blame everyone, call everyone zero. I know. And just what is it you know? What happened to Alice after she was stolen? Alright, tell me. What happened to Alice? Well, around that time, the word was that there was a special black market in New York. All millionaires from all over the world. I've heard that Alice went up for auction there. The person who won the auction was Lord Dashiell Gordain. You've heard that name before, right? Lord Gordain. 
Oh, isn't he the guy who bought the Gigantic? The Titan- Yeah, that's him. Although I guess he hadn't done that yet. What do you mean? Gordain bought Alice in 1912. Four years later, in 1916, he bought the Gigantic. And he hit Alice somewhere on the Gigantic. But nobody knows where. He died in 1931. And apparently he died without ever telling anyone where Alice was hidden. However... However... what? Well, he did have one close friend who asked him, Where is Alice? And he said... Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the Forest of Knowledge, beneath the navel of the Gigantic. What the hell is that? Is it some kind of riddle? Yep. Your guess is as good as mine. Why not? So that's it. Whatever you think, I believe it. She's hidden somewhere on the Gigantic. In other words, she's hidden somewhere on this ship. Hmm. Hey! What are you two doing over there? Stop wasting time and get over here! Okay, okay, we're coming. Jeez! Yeah, so, anyway, that's the story. It might be useful someday. Don't forget it. Alice. Huh. That mummy that wasn't, wasn't just, just a normal, normal mummy! mummy. Well, everything's connected, apparently. They say that she was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic, even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. She was frozen. Then was that she Egyptian priestess, moment? Alice? <laughs> Did the water in her body become Ice Nine? No, that, that's nuts. There's no way somebody like that could exist. There's nobody way a person who grows solid could exist. Okay, so let's go over here and see if we have everything. Okay, so this is collected the parts. God doesn't let me look at you, Lucy, unless I get super close. Oh, 
now they're talking about it. Screen will display the two mannequins. You can switch out their body parts by selecting the part you want to switch out. Okay, so... I looked this up. That's why it was so fast. Which is good because I don't want to bother. Alright, that would have been way too hard. Okay, a little on the scale. Now we have a key. Awesome, we can get out of here. If it was a weight puzzle, couldn't we just slowly put more weight on it until it would just open regardless? Did you have a different way over there? Yeah. I'm a genius, aren't I? Hey, hold on. Oh, what's up? Where's Clover? Where's huh? Clover? Where'd Clover go? Oh, god damn it. Where the hell did she go? Uh, okay, J just hold on a minute. I'll Don't go worry, get her. Just had to guess sure thing. The items. There's plenty of random medicine around here. Hey, Clover, what's wrong? Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? Hey, Clover, can you hear me? My brother might be dead. Oh, the lights just go here. You saw it too? Yeah. Uh, huh? That's why we couldn't find him. He's dead. I'm going to be next. What? What, what are you talking about? What's wrong with you? Uh, uh. What do you want to do? Give her the four leaf clover. Oh, yeah. It's in my pocket somewhere. Uh, ah, here it is. A four-leaf clover. Hey, did you know? Don't stop me. Here, take this bookmark. Friendship. Friendship. Don't stop. <laughs> Each leaf means something. Hope, faith, love, and luck. That's what a four-leaf clover stands for. Take it. Use it as a good luck charm. Listen to me, clover. No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. <laughs> Snake, I mean, your brother, he's not dead. He's alive, somewhere, I'm sure of it. You've just gotta believe in that. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, come on, Seven's waiting for us at the exit. Wait. Before we go, there's one thing I want to ask you. What's that? What do you think when you hear the word experiment? Uh, what? Oh. I guess it was just a coincidence then. I mean, that you knew about the four-leaf clover. Uh, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't want to be a jerk, but... You are making less than no sense right now. Oh, no, no, no. It's nothing. Just forget about it. Oh, don't don't give me that. Uh, you really think I could just drop this? What is this experiment you were talking about? You promise you won't tell anyone? Cross my heart. Really? Really. I can trust you, right? Of course you can. Acquired. Yeah, you Clover's can, trust. You can trust us. We gave you a bookmark. Okay, then. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened on this ship nine years ago. Wait, wait, wait. You, on, on this ship? Yeah, this ship. It was an experiment to test some sort of psychic thing. Communicating through these fields that you can't see. Fields that you can't see? Like, think about this. This is John. Right? But is he really John? Huh? Isn't this like Locke's socks? 
What? Or the ship of Theseus? Um... You don't know? You haven't heard of those paradoxes? No, we no. haven't heard of these pseudosciences. Really? Oh, you just made up for this game. Okay, well pay attention then. This is how Lox Socks works. Let's say I've got a pair of socks. They're my favorite socks. One of them gets a hole in it. What would you do if that was your sock, Junpei? Patch it up? Well, I, I guess I'd patch it up, get some cloth, and close up the hole. But what if another hole opens? I'd add another patch, I suppose. What if another hole opened after that? Um, You're another really just patch, to force I guess? To get new socks. Well, let's say you just keep adding new patches. Until eventually, the original cloth of the sock is totally gone. Once you get to that <laughs> point... Can you really say they're the same socks you started with? Hmm... Uh... Well, that... Hmm, that's... Oh, that, that's tough. So, that's the lock socks thing? Yeah! The ship of Theseus is a lot like it. The ship of Theseus. If you keep fixing the damaged parts of a ship, eventually it ends up with none of the parts it started with. Can you really say that ship is the same one you started with? And what if you took all the old parts from the first ship and built another one somewhere else? Then which ship is the real ship of Theseus? The one you repaired, or the one you built with all the original parts? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, do you think it's the same? What's the same? These guys. Is this John, or is it Lucy now? Uh, John's head and heart are both his. But apart from those, and the single arm, the rest of his body was once Lucy's. We're just like these mannequins. Think about it. The cells in our body change every day. Old ones die, and new ones are born. Maybe part of my arm is made of stuff from a fish I ate once. <laughs> what the heck? Or maybe part of your right side is made from a cow you ate. I don't think we're part of a cow. If you take it a little further, those cows and fishes are made from something else too, right? That's how we're all connected. Through fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. What? Hey! What the hell has taken you two so long? How long are you gonna make me wait? We don't have time to screw around. Uh, but but you screwed around too. Everyone oh, just screws around and then screams at doing? everyone else for screwing around. This is some sort of secret <laughs> meeting? No, it How wasn't. How many hours we have left? One hour. Damn it. <laughs> we were just... Just... Playing. With the mannequins. Huh? Let's go, Junpei. Playing with mannequins, huh? Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Junpei. <sighs> <sighs> You're a dick. All right, I'm gonna open it now. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking, just do it, all right? <sighs> Fine then. What's the next room? <sighs> all Where right, are we now? let's get going. Hey, man, what's up with you? You're so serious, you know? Can't you sound more happy, you know, get a little excited? <sighs> Not after you were a dick. Not really. <sighs> My brother might, might be, be dead. dead. I'm, I'm going, going to be next. next. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. There too, huh? Every door in this place is locked up tight. How about that one? May as well give it a try. Jumpy! Huh? June? And Santa? And Lotus too? Whoa! What the hell is this? What are you doing here? We already explained this. <laughs> what? But 
We didn't. What hey guys, could you come take you a look at here. this? Look on the wall here. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor then? Door 7. Eh? Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. And that's how the nonary game works. I see. Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> we may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I uh, almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. I knew it. What do you mean? We're back. Yep. Welcome back. In the hospital room. You just let that guy kill I himself. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory, and then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. But did we get anything from doing that? At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Well, we saw each other again and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. Anyway, I said we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. That's good. Uh, the key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Right, Junpei? Yeah. Oh, we did? the solar system keys. Actually, we found one in the laboratory, too. That means there's also Here, one behind door the Earth three. key. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. <laughs> yeah, on it. Now we have three keys that we haven't used yet. Yeah. The Jupiter key that we found in the operating room. Oh, it opened, that's the key that we used to open the door out. The Saturn key card we found in the kitchen. And the Earth key Lotus just gave me. You okay? The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point! At least there is for me! Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well, I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me? Damn. Well, <clears throat> I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? Looks we're gonna head into door yes, three. Yes, you are. All right, let's get moving. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay. We're off. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're going to see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, on it. <laughs> Cr 
Great, back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Is there a reason they came back here? To, to save. save. Just, we gotta save. Just save now? Yeah. Lot five. There we go. And then quit. Yeah. Yeah. Time to say goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye.